Hey gang, Bronco Carl 92 here. So it's Saturday, January 18th, and today I'm going to show you how to change the brake fluid on my 92 Ford Bronco. Alright, so I figured since the Bronco has been laid up on uh, jack stands here and all the wheels and tires are off um, and it needs a brake fluid change because uh, I haven't changed the brake fluid um, I think since I put the truck together and uh, usually two to three years is when you should change brake fluid. Um, even with low mileage uh, brake fluid tends to uh, attract moisture and can um, corrode the uh, internal components of your brake system and uh, you know cause a loss of braking the lines can rot from the inside out and there's all kinds of uh, things that can happen so most manufacturers do recommend changing brake fluid between two and three years um, so uh, I'm going to show you how to do it on my truck so anyhow so there's the uh, the reservoir and um, you can see that the fluid I don't know if you can really see it but I can see it the uh, fluid looks really dark um, inside the uh, the reservoir there um, and uh, once we're done um, it will actually look you know, clean and uh, more yellowish. That looks more brown. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to suck all the, uh, the fluid out of that reservoir. Uh, and then uh, we're going to refill it with fresh fluid. Um, and then we're going to suck fresh fluid through the, the uh, complete system. So through these lines, uh, down through the, um, the ABS valve that's uh, on the frame. Um, and uh, we're going to start at the, uh, the, right, uh, the right rear wheel and uh, then we're going to hit the left rear wheel then right front and then left front and uh, draw new fluid through the whole system so let me get you set up and show you how I'm going to do All that. Alright so to uh, suck the fluid out of the, uh, the reservoir I'm going to use this, uh, this uh, sucker here uh, that's made by Vacula and basically what you do is um, you have air connected to it when you push down on that it creates a vacuum in this line here um, and uh, sucks the fluid out. So uh, let me just uh, set you up on the, uh, the fender here and uh, whoops, and we'll start sucking. Okay, so uh, let's get our cap off. And uh, down inside the, uh, this, master, this master cylinder reservoir there is actually a, um, a little float for the low brake fluid warning light. So we'll just take our tube Try to stick it down. In here. And we're going to try to suck out as much as we can. Now some master cylinders you can actually um, get every last ounce out. Um, I don't recommend getting every single drop out because you don't want to, or if you want to try to minimize the uh, introduction of air into the system. Outside. Okay. Uh, and I don't have to stress, please be careful with the brake fluid around your paintwork. Uh, brake fluid will take paint off. I uh, actually found that if you go through this little hole over here, 
there's one in the front, one in the back, you can actually get just about all the fluid out of the master cylinder reservoir, which I've done now, so. Anyhow, sometimes it uh, helps to take a second look. So anyhow, um, the fluid I'm going to be using is this uh, Johnson's DOT3 uh, synthetic brake fluid. Um, this system originally had DOT3. Um, I su suppose you could use DOT4 in place of DOT3, but I prefer to use, uh, I guess, what was in here originally. Um, I don't really know how much heat this brake system generates, and I think DOT3 will be fine. So, Anyhow, that's what Mike had at his store, so that's what we're going to use. So we're going to fill this up, first of all, with this nice, clean, fresh fluid. And uh, start the bleeding procedure. All right, so we're over here at the uh, the right rear wheel. Um, we have a uh, a box wrench on the bleeder, and we have our hose attached over here. And uh, of course, here's our here's our vacuola. So what I'm going to do is I'll turn the vacuola on. And we'll build up a little bit of vacuum. So you can see the hose. I'm going to crack the bleeder screw. And here comes our brake fluid. So what I'll do is I'll let this run for, let's say, about a minute. And I'll keep an eye on the reservoir. And as the reservoir starts to drop down, um, I'll tap this off and we'll move to the next wheel. Okay, so I've pulled about four ounces of fluid through the system. Um, you can see that the uh, the vacuola there has got uh, quite a bit of fluid in it now. And if we go up to our reservoir, you can see we suck quite a bit out. So I'm going to repeat the uh, the same thing for the uh, for the left rear, and then uh, we'll move up to the front. Alright, so we're on the left rear right now. You can actually see the, um, the fluid going down in the uh, master cylinder reservoir as the, uh, the vacuum is sucking the fluid through. And uh, another little tip that uh, I wanted to mention that I uh, learned from uh, Corvair Wild. If you uh, put some um, Teflon tape, one wrap along the threads on the bleeder, um, it tends to tighten the seal up around the bleeder, and you don't uh, suck so much air through the uh, the threads of the bleeder screw. So, anyhow, we'll uh, move up to the something front. worth mentioning here. Um, I remembered that this uh, this block here on the rear axle it's a it's a wedge shaped block. I guess this is what gives you your rear pinion angle. Anyhow, um, it's a factory block. I remembered that this was cracked, and uh, that I want to change it. So, I guess uh, we got another video to do. So, anyhow, on to the front. This fluid looks pretty crappy in the front here. All right, so I, uh, I did the uh, left front finally, and uh, I topped up the master cylinder. And as you can see, the fluid looks uh, like you can barely see it in there now. Um, I used my, uh, my entire quart here, so that's gone. Um, the uh, fluid that's in there, let's put that in a container and see what it looks like. All right, so I got this uh, clear peanut bottle. Let's, uh,
this all going to fit in there? Probably not. Yeah. I'd say that looks pretty, pretty freaking nasty, so. All right, anyway, uh, anyhow, um, you should always, uh, when you're done, make sure you have a good pedal. I've done that. The pedal's firm. Uh, the master cylinder's topped off, and, uh, and that's it. So I'm going to go uh, put this video together, and uh, we'll uh, catch you guys on the next time. So as always, thanks for watching, and uh, take care, guys.